Hi guys, so I'm going to be filming my January haul video today and I did get some old albums and a mix of new albums, mainly new, but I got some older ones to buy because I did get money for my birthday, so yeah, that is why. And um, some people think my birthday is on the day I posted my birthday haul, but no. <laughs> my birthday was on January 4th. So thank you to people that wished me happy birthday on the day and also for the belated birthday wishes. Very much appreciate it. So thank you. 23. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But yes, anyways, um, let's just get into this video. Oh, and by the way, like my blanket. <laughs> it's a uh, key from Shiny. If anyone watched my key fan site season's greeting unboxing, you will know about this blanket. But yeah, it's just... It's gorgeous and it doesn't match my bed sheets as much as I wish it did but I do have a Taman blanket coming as well with my Taman Seasons greetings so that one I think will match better but anyways and um, speaking of key I got his Japanese debut album hologram I just loved his Japanese debut and I, you know what it's kind of making sense to me why like all of Key's solo music is like happening all at once it's because he's freaking enlisting okay yeah love it not really well you know what I'm actually like low-key happy that he's enlisting at around the same time as Jingi because I'd rather them enlist all around the same time because then we'll have them come back near the same time like I don't like when it's all staggered it just gets me stressed out so um, and also Mino's going soon too as well so you know what I can't complain the way that they're enlisting so yeah um, I just can't wait until they're all back to be honest but anyway so yeah this is the standard edition and I love his packaging it's just so pretty and uh, I also got the limited edition which I think is so cool uh, if you haven't, check out my unboxing because honestly, this is really, really cool for a Japanese packaging. Like, it's just so unique and you get quite a few things in here. So, honestly, I would check it out. You get these really, really cute Christmas cards in here as well and it's just super cute. So, yeah, everything about Key's Japanese debut is just as good as his Korean, to be honest. His music, his solo music, so good. So, yeah, please stand Key, everyone. He deserves all the love. So, I did get both versions and yes... That is that. Next album is Seventeen. This is their comeback album, You Made My Dawn. This one is the Before Dawn version. And I got the, whoops, the Dawn version. Which I also ordered a signed copy of this one on M-Wave. And I got the Eternal Sunshine version. Please don't fall off my knee. <laughs> And yes, so they did the same kind of packaging as their last album, so I had to stack them. <laughs> if they're this teeny, I'd, I'd like rather have them go up than more this way. I stacked them, and you know what? Fits perfectly fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So yeah, but anyways, I love Seventeen's comeback. Um, I feel like it's very Seventeen sounding, their comeback. They usually tend to go for this kind of sound. I'm really bad at explaining what kind of sound it is, but to me it just sounds very Seventeen sounding. And um, I think the dance to Home was quite nice. I love watching the live stages. Um, and I thought the mini album was really good. I actually think it's probably one of my favorite mini albums by Seventeen. So yeah, definitely going to stay supporting Seventeen. So I would check out their comeback. And so yes, let's go through the photo cards. So with this one, you get a lenticular and I got Jungan. And he's my bias, one of my biases, so that was lucky. And then in this one, I got Minghao's lenticular. And then in uh, this one, I got... Joshua's lenticular. Oh, whoa. His, he looks like he's furiously shaking his head. But yeah. And then photo cards. And then uh, with this one, the photo cards. Well, okay, I got this like little mini poster thing. I got Vernon. And when you open it, it's like even more beautiful. <laughs> so I got Vernon. And then my photo cards. I got June. And I got Ouija. So cute and yeah the photo cards are quite similar to their last one as well because like the whole theme is like kind of the same when it comes to like styling 
but yeah. And then with the um, Dawn version, I got I got Joshua's little mini poster. Oh, so beautiful, so so beautiful. And I got DK's photo card. It's so pretty. I love his card. And then I also got Mingyu's card, which is also super super pretty. And then with the Eternal Sunshine version, I got Uji's little poster thing, and this one opens up this way. And then I got June's photo card again, but this one is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And then I got DK's photo card again. It's also very, very pretty. <laughs> I'm just pulling all the really pretty and cute cards. But yes, okay, so that was 17. The next album I got is one of my all-time favorite comebacks of the year so far. It is AT's. This is their comeback album, Treasure EP 2, 0 to 1 in my unboxing. I said, I think I said all to 1. I don't know why I thought it was that name, but my brain just had that, it, it was stuck in my brain. But um, anyway, so this is their mini album. It's very similar packaging to their last, which I kind of like it because this kind of a box style is super, super nice. Like, I just feel like it's a really, really good quality of box, so I can appreciate that. But their comeback is so good. I like it better than their debut songs. Oh my god, it's just amazing. Like, and not only is the title track so good, but the... Besides, also, like, I listen to this album on the daily because it is just that good, and ATs are just those rookies. Like, they're those rookies. Well, I wouldn't say quotations, but they're, like, those rookies, you know? Like, they, they're they rookies, but they act like they've been doing this for years, and that is very, very impressive. This whole group just impresses me. The stage presence that these guys have is real, like... And you can so tell that they enjoy what they do, and that's what I love about groups. I love it when groups are so passionate about something and they really like to go all into what they're doing because it just, like, it shows that they love doing what they do. And I like standing a group that loves doing what they do, so. Anyways, this is AT's, their second mini, and I'm just obsessed, so go check out AT's. Please check them out. You won't regret it. <laughs> So I did buy that one off of K-Town for you and they were doing this, oops, I dropped my card. <laughs> they were doing this thing, if you pre-order, they had like a postcard kind of a thing. So here it is and yes, it's very, very pretty. So super happy I got it. You get a group card and I'm pretty sure everyone gets this group card. And also I noticed they spell, they're gonna spell something. So this is E. I didn't notice it said E at first, but yeah, I see it now. And then my photo card was Hong Joon. And this one has an S on the back. I saw the back first when I unboxed it, and I thought it was going to be Songwa. He's my bias. So I got low-key happy and excited, but turned around, it was Hong Jung. I mean, I, I love all the members, so I don't really care who I pulled, but yeah. I just expected it to be Songwa from the S on the back, but I'm guessing it spells treasure. Yeah. But anyways, those are my cards. Well, I'm going to show two albums as, like, one, so... So happy about this one. So if you watched my haul video, you will know about this. But I got Taemin's uh, brown versions or like beige versions of Press It. So this one is this one with the gold text and the gold one. So yeah, this is quite hard to find. Like it's not impossible, but like, I mean, you are basically only allowed to get this album at random. So like if you order it at random, you could possibly get this, but it's really hard to find someone selling it on its own. So yeah, but I ended up buying this used and I wasn't able to choose the type. So I ended up getting this, which I'm super happy about because I don't have this version. And then this one is like the hardest one to find and it's like the one everyone wants. But it is the other beige one with the black lettering. My hair is stuck on it with the black lettering the black one and it's the cover where he's basically kissing himself this one is like the cover everyone wants and it's so hard to find someone selling it on its own so i bought this used i think i got them both for like like 14 dollars cad so that's like that's cheaper in usd i don't know the exact price in usd but yeah i got it for like uh, 14 15 dollars cad each so I think so. I might have to double check on how much I paid, but I did get them used because it's really hard to find these sealed. And you know what? I want all four. So I only have one of the, the uh, gray ones. So the fact that I got these, they were chosen for me. It was just fate. It was fate. <laughs> 
so I'm just so happy I got them. So this one didn't come with a photo card. That's okay with me because I did buy it used, so I'm not expecting a photo card. But this one actually did, so I was shocked at that. This was the photo card I got with it, which I'm super happy with because I don't have this one. I'm collecting the set, so I don't really care which photo card I get as long as I don't get the same photo card I already have. But yes, I'm just super lucky with this whole purchase. Next album is a comeback, and I actually just unboxed it today. It is... Taehyun, this is his solo debut birthday. I love, 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 love his album and everything about his solo debut. I think it's the cutest ever. I just love the b-sides on this as well. I just am so happy with everything that he released musically as a soloist. I think it's just this whole concept suits him so well. I love how he named his album birthday and then capital R-T-H for like his name. Uh, no Taehyun, I know he stylizes it as Rotehan, even though, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the story on why he stylizes it like that, but oh, I just I love his album so much. It's the cutest like packaging I've ever seen. The second I saw the packaging for this, I'm like, I just got so excited. I don't know why, but yeah, he's like one of my top biases, so super super happy with his comeback. And yeah, so yeah, this album comes with 50 photo cards, like in total. So you get two in your album, so. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, so I got this one. I think it's so cute. Oh my god, I love this photo card of him. And so they number the photo cards on the back. So this one is number 26. And then I also got this one. And then he wrote in Japanese on the back. I thought that was really, really cute. And then this one is number 21 out of 50. So they're just so cute. And just looking at these photo cards, it makes me like want them all. I don't think I'll do it, but I really, really wish I could have all of them. But yeah, I got these ones and they're just so cute. Next album is an old album. I got this used, obviously. I tend to get old albums used because I don't got the money to keep buying them sealed. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I got Tiara. This was in my haul video as well. Um, this is their John Travolta wannabe album. I remember when this released, I was just obsessed with Tiara at the time, and um, this whole era was amazing. This is actually one of my all-time favorite releases by Tiara, so I just had to get the album. And I'm actually trying to work on my Tiara collection, so here it is. I think I got this for like three dollars because bought it used, and it's quite old looking. It's very a little bit beaten up, but you get what you pay for, so yay. This one is another used album, but I kind of spent a little bit more than I normally would on a used album. But I got Away. This is their fourth single, Red Motion. This is quite hard to find, so I feel super lucky I found this. I think I spent... I can't remember the exact amount I spent. I'm going to have to look into that, but definitely more than what I would normally pay for but it was worth it because this album is quite hard to find and yeah so finally have this in my collection slowly working on my AOA collection for some reason their albums are starting to go out of print I do not know why it's not fair <laughs> album is a signed album it is my Monsta X are you there signed albums so actually well this one is the Okay, this one is the version 3. As you can see, it's signed by Juan. I wasn't allowed to pick, obviously, who I got the album signed by, so that's why I ordered this, because I love every Monster X member. I don't care whose signature I get, so I got Juan's signature on this one. I bought two just, like, to have another chance on getting my bias, which didn't happen, but that's okay. <laughs> so I got Hyungwon on the version 1. This is version 1. Um... Yeah, so I'm quite happy with the signatures. You know, I'd be happy with anyone, as I said, because I really do love every Monster X member, so that's why I did this. But yeah, anyways, so, um, so from the, okay, from the Hyungwon signed album, from the version 1, I got Juwon's photo card. That would have been funny if I got Juwon with, um, the Juwon album, but no. And then with the version 3 signed by Juwon, I got Kihan's photo card. And I actually didn't pull any Kihan in my original copies, so I'm quite happy with this. And I obviously got the group cards too, but I'm not showing those because I already have them all and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Next is another old album, and this one is New East. This is their fourth, third mini, sorry, not fourth third mini sleep talking. Um, I loved this comeback so much. The whole concept in this era was so cute and I really really think New East pulls off this kind of concept. So yeah, and this was a great mini album as well. Everything about this era was so great. So yeah. But anyways, uh, this is actually a first press album. I know this because of my photo card, which I feel blessed. I pulled 
Becco's photo card, but I got the first press card. If anyone knows, New East cards that are have the round edges are the first press cards, and anyone that have the, the sharp edges are the second press. So I feel quite lucky to get the first press photo card, so I'm guessing you got the first press album as well. So I feel quite blessed. <laughs> so next album I got is a debut. I'm so impressed by this group. It is Cherry Bullet. This is their first single album. Let's play Cherry Bullet. I love the whole concept of this. It's like a video game. It's so cute, like 8-bit style video game. It's the most adorable thing ever. And I thought their debut was so good. It was actually stuck in my head like all of this morning. Like it's just that much of a very, very catchy song. Uh, so yeah, and I'm not even getting tired of it. I usually get super sick of like catchy songs that won't get out of my head But I'm not even mad that it was stuck in my head because I was like having the best time of my life singing along to that song So I just think it's such a cute song and the two tracks on here other than the title track I think those two songs are so catchy and I think they are doing quite well for their debut So very very impressed by these girls and I would highly recommend checking them out uh, Yeah, I think their debut was just so good. So yay. It's FNC's new girl group Woo! They're nothing like AOA to me. A little bit, but not really. They have twice the members. Not twice, but a few more members. But yeah, I just... AOA's sister group, I guess. <laughs> I found out from comments that this is like a video game card style, like a video cartridge. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about video games, but um, I got Mide's photo card and she's so cute. I do love the whole style of the photo cards. It's just so cute. There's her little signature on the back and her little weird machine thing. Oh, she's in it. That's what it is. But yeah, I just think it's so cute. And I basically, I mean, my bias is Juon, but I'd pretty much be happy with anyone. So I'm happy with Mide. And yes, so that was Cherry Bullet. Next is another signed album. So all my M-Wave signed albums are like all arriving at the same time, which is cool. But I got my M-Wave signed The Boys The Only album. As you can see, it was signed by all the members, so I'm always like so excited when I see uh, albums signed by all the members. I'm like, yes. It's just like so much better than one random member. But yes, it's just very, very beautiful. I chose to get this one signed because it's white. The signatures show up so much better on this one. So ultimately, just super happy with this. And then my photo card, it still came with this. My hair's on it, this like bookmark strip thing. So it's hard to see, but I got Jacob. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that's so hard to see. Oh, you can kind of see it there. But yeah, I got Jacob for that. And then my photo card, I got new. And I think his card is so cute. It's very adorable. So overall, very, very happy with everything about that. And yes. Okay, moving on. Next is a comeback. And I am so impressed by this comeback. It is Chunga. This is her second single. Yeah, second single, Gotta Go. Um, I just... Her comeback blew me away, to be honest. I was always, like, a low-key fan of Chunga. I always liked her music. Um, actually, Roller Coaster was my all-time fave song by her. But when this released, I just couldn't even believe it, like, how good it is. Like, she has a really, really cool aura. But she's also, like, very down-to-earth. So, like, overall, she's just a really cool person. And, yeah. So I got this. Apparently it's like limited. I don't know if just the numbering thing is limited or if the whole entire album is very limited, but I made sure I got it right away. So it's very, very pretty too. I love the packaging. The whole cover is so gorgeous. It's just so pretty. It's very, very heavy because there's a lot of postcards in here, but that is okay. But yeah, so the warranty card thing is, um, I think this is very limited. It's only up to like 10,000 of these. So yes, I got number 8,533. So yeah, that is my number. Two cards. You get this like clear or see-through card. It's very, 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 very pretty. And then you get a photo card. I think there's only two types. So I got this one. The back is so cute. And yes, that is that. Since I officially, that was actually my first ever Chunga album. So since I decided to collect Chunga albums, went and started buying her older albums. So I got her release before that, Blooming Blue. This is her third mini. Um, yes, I liked this comeback, but it like, I wasn't blown away by this comeback, but I still really liked it. So um, I did get this. Uh, this is such a cute concept. This is very summery, so... It's making me miss summer, to be honest, but I did have to get this because 
yeah, just trying to work on my Chunga collection and I actually recently did buy her Offset album, the one with Roller Coaster as the title track, so really excited for that to come. So it comes with this postcard. I don't know if this is random or not, but I got this one. And then you get a really, really long bookmark. I think it's so cute. She looks really, really adorable in these photos. And then here's the back. It's so pretty. And then you get a photo card. And I got this one. She's so cute. I love this photo of her. So adorable. And yes, so that was that. So next uh, is a comeback. And it is... G friend this is their second full album time for us I love this packaging to be honest I think it's one of G friends best packaging source music really outdid themselves with this packaging it's so pretty the photo shoots are just absolutely gorgeous and their comeback was really really good too and the b-sides on this are like even better than the title track I think well I don't know it's like all the same for me because I think they're all just like equally amazing I think uh, G friend b-sides are always so good so I would definitely recommend checking out this album because I think it's to be honest my favorite G friend album now very very good so we got the I think this is the daytime version and then this is the daybreak version and then this is the midnight version yes okay I got everything sorted so we'll go through we'll go through these things I did notice you can actually tell who you got on the outside because it shows their initials here in this really weird written text so yeah anyways so this one is Yuju which I actually got a double Yuju and oh no this is the other one it's like her initials and then the last one I got, where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, here. Here. And this one is Shindi. You can tell because of the initials on the back. So, yeah. Okay, this is from this version. So, I got Soan's clear card. And then I got her selfie card. And then I got Omji's selfie card. And then from this version... I got Yuju's clear card and I got Omji's selfie card and I got Yerin's selfie card. This one. I got Omji's clear card and then I got Shinbi's selfie card. And I got my first ever Una card. <laughs> I was shook by that. But yeah, that was that. Alright, so next album is a comeback and it's one of my all-time favorites so far of the year. It is A Pink Percent. I love their comeback so much. It's like one of my all-time favorite title tracks by A Pink now. I'm so impressed by this comeback. And the album's really, really good too. I think um, A Pink's B-sides are getting better and better like every comeback. So I'm just super impressed with this comeback. A Pink is my ultimate girl group, so I'm just feeling very, very happy right now. And I'm just a very, very proud Pink Panda. Couldn't be any more proud of these girls. And for the fact that they're second gen and still going strong makes me even prouder. So yeah, I'm just overall very, very happy with this comeback. So this is the red version, and the packaging is very, very similar to their Pink Up album. I wasn't the hugest fan of that packaging, but this one's a little bit better because there's an actual photo book in this one. In Pink Up, there was just like postcards, which kind of sucked. I also got the white version. I really do like both, so of course I had to get both of them. But yes, overall, just super, super happy with this comeback. And then uh, Plan A decided to do pre-order cards. I'm really down for the pre-order cards because they're so cute. So there's two sets per version. So I'll go through the red version set first. So we have Chorong. All the backs look like this. And then we have Bomi and Unji and Namju. I love this picture. I love her pink eyebrows. It's so cute. And then Nan. And then Hyung. And then we have the uh, the, the white version. Chorong. Oh, here's the back. And Bomi. She looks so cute in this card. And NG. And Nan. She looks so pretty here. And Namju. And Hyung. 
Alright, so those were the pre-order cards. And then for photo cards, so with the red version, I got uh, Chorong's photo card. And then I got, and then you get a clear card as well. I got um, Chorong again. I don't know what to call this, like circle cards with a message strip thing. So I got none. And then in the white version, I got this same Chorong card, so I'll definitely need to trade her. I preferably would like Unji, but if I cannot get her a card, then I guess anyone. And then I also got Nan's clear card. And then the circle thing with a message strip, I got Taeyang. And yes, overall, really, really happy with this comeback. We're nearing the end, I, I swear to God. Okay, so next is a, um, well, this is my last M-Wave signed album of the month. So it is my all member signed day six album. It's their Remember Us Youth Part 2 album. If you can see it is signed by all the members. It is a little bit hard to see because it's like black pen on really dark uh, coloring but it's okay. So yes, um, I did get this version. You weren't allowed to choose the version so I'm okay with this one. I was okay with either so at least it's signed by all the members. Um, and then photo cards. I was shocked to see this to be honest. It came with the first press card or the big postcard thing So I got one pill. Um, so yes, I still have another Sungjin that I need to trade So if anyone has anyone but one pill and wants to trade for Sungjin, let me know But yes, I was shocked to see that in there and then photo cards I got Young K's selfie card, which I did pull Young K in my original copies, but not this version so super super happy and then I also got this young K of him playing the bass I love these cards so yes ultimately very very blessed with that album so this is a used album I got it is after school this is their sixth single album uh Chotsarang or yeah I don't know what they actually called it the album I'm it's the one with first love as the title track but oh this is sadly their latest album and it came out in 2013 very very sad but it's one of my all-time favorite eras for after school so i really 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 miss them and i'm just super emo and sad while looking through this photo book because this was such an iconic era and i just miss these girls so much so i'm gonna cry now but anyway so the member i got on the photo book was Khan, and yes she is just gorgeous she is so gorgeous isn't she and then oh yes so the oh, let me just put this back my big photo card thing was also Khan. I got the Khan set but yeah I can't complain because I love her and I love them all but yes and I bought this used so I think it was like ten dollars not bad for a used album next album was a little bit of a nuisance uh, especially since it's super heavy but I got Icon, this is their New Kids repackage album, the New Kids. So yeah, as you can see, it's made out of like acrylic plastic. And I did hear a lot of people got theirs damaged because it's just kind of like, the plastic is easily breakable. And so during shipping, it like broke. And I feel so sorry for those people, but I feel blessed that mine came in quite good condition. So yeah, this is the red version. And then I also got the black version. They're super heavy. So this was like a biatch in shipping. But yeah, so I had to get this because I'm really, really loving Icon recently. So impressed with their music. So why is hair is just everywhere. But yeah, just so impressed by Icon lately. So yeah, I got both. And then it came with these like acrylic like keychains. I put them back in here so I'm too lazy to take them out, but with the red one I got DK's um, keychain and then with the black one I got BI's keychain. So yes, and then photo cards. With the red one I got Chan's photo card. It's so cute. He's doing the snow filter. Just adorable. And then with the black version I was so blessed with this one. I got Jinwan's photo card and he's my bias. So honestly I just feel super super blessed and yes. Alright, so that was Icon. This is not an album. It is a DVD and it is Monster X. This is their The Connect in Soul DVD. Um, I've seen people selling this on eBay for like a thousand dollars. I don't know what's going on there. Why people are assuming this is out of print now when it's not out of print. People are freaking crazy. But no, stop. Okay, I'm gonna report that eBay seller. But anyways, it's just 
this is my second ever Monster X DVD and I love watching Monster X DVDs. I just love them as a group. I think the whole group itself has such like chemistry with each other as like friends and just like bandmates. So honestly any like concert DVD or any like show of Monster X I'll always be happy to watch because just seeing them interact with each other makes me really happy because they just get along so well and they just like, I don't know, they're just really really great friends and bandmates. So. Honestly, Monster X as a group, it just wins overall to me, so anyway, so yes, I did get this, and um, it's very pretty. So it comes with like first press cards, I didn't know these were first press, so I feel blessed, but it comes with this really, really pretty group card, and then it comes with a set, uh, like holographic cards, so you got all the members, and yes, we have Shanu, Wano, Minyak, Kihan, Hyangwon, Juan, and Changyun, or I am. But yes, um, I feel very blessed to get the pre-order cards because they're so pretty. I love the holographicness to it, the rainbow holographicness. So that was that. And then last thing is actually, I didn't buy this, it was a gift. I feel super, super blessed, but okay, so I order a lot of things from K-Town for you. So I traded my Chanyol um, Vivace version photo cards to uh, K-Town for you's Unboxer J. He gave me Baekhyun and Dio for my two Chanyols. I know, I think he's just trying to help me out, which he's super nice. And also, as a birthday gift to me, he gave me this shiny DVD for free. Um, yeah, so, it's very damaged. I think that's why, because K Town for you can't sell damaged items. So he's like, he messaged me, he's like, Do you want this DVD? It's a little damaged though. I'm like, I'll still take it. So yeah, he kind of just gave it to me for free. So I'll take a damaged DVD. That's fine because DVDs are so expensive to buy sealed, and he just gave it to me for free. The damage I can live with. It's not like the worst damage I've seen. So I just feel very, very grateful. So thank you so much, Jay, for giving me this for my birthday. It was super, super nice of you. And now I can watch this in person. Well, on my TV. But yes, this was basically a birthday present, so I feel very, very happy. But yeah, so that was everything. That was my haul video for this month. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.